Let's talk about the Mushroom Bomb. The Mushroom Bomb is easily one of the most important events within the entire Adventure Time story, as it is the root cause of exactly why civilization is the way it is within the world. Not much is known about it, aside from the fact that it was a super weapon developed by humans in order to end a particularly devastating war. The details on how and why the bomb was created are left ambiguous. However, the effects of the bomb are shown continuously throughout the show. So let's go over what we know first. Upon the bomb's detonation, an incredibly large amount of people die. Those who were left alive either mutated into mindless zombies, or their forms were also mutated, but they were able to keep their minds. Others ended up developing magical abilities as a result of the bomb, while others transformed into gigantic monsters. Due to the insane amount of mutations throughout the entire population on Ooh, this resulted in hundreds of new species developing. A good example of this would be Chuskus. Biologically, he was supposed to be a human. However, due to the fact that his ancestors were mutated to such a degree by the bomb, he ended up becoming a semi-sentient bird. Another example would be Billy. Thanks to the mutations brought on by the bomb from his ancestors, he developed incredible height, strength, and magical affinity. In fact, the vast majority of the species that we see who are originally believed to just be magical, and granted they probably are considering the bomb did have magical effects on everyone, originally came from a lineage of humans. Despite the event taking place thousands of years ago, echoes of the event are seen continuously throughout the series, such such as radiated zombies that we see in various episodes, along with destroyed cities, messed up buildings, as well as full-on subways that were left behind after the blast. Another obvious mention would be the Lich, as we know that he is directly tied to the Mushroom Bomb, along with his current incarnation. Now with what we know out the way, let's go ahead and speculate on the how and why. In terms of the how, this one is pretty interesting, because I highly doubt that the bomb was actually created with typical engineering. The bomb quite literally possessed the essence of the Lich within it, but at this point he wasn't quite the Lich yet. It's quite possible they found him in a primal kind of state, kind of like a form of energy, the same way that the Purple Comet was found. Upon realizing the sheer amount of destructive power that this kind of energy possessed, they most likely decided to weaponize it considering they were probably on the losing end of a war. And in terms of the why, I have to say it was most likely out of desperation. The reason why I believe they were on the losing side is that ultimately creating a weapon and dropping a weapon of that magnitude is not something any person would do on a whim. Another idea is that they created the weapon and didn't really quite understand just how powerful it would be, ultimately sealing their fate simply due to ignorance. Another theory that I subscribe to is the idea that the Lich got them to make the bomb himself. Think about it, in almost every single incarnation that he takes on, he's able to somehow manipulate the people around him. Not to mention, when the bomb drops, pretty much everything that happened would have been in his own interests. He receives a new vessel that is enhanced with the energy of the bomb, granting him greater influence and power. Most of all life on the planet are either destroyed or mutated. He gains a near endless supply of corpses to make an undead army, which we know was actually one of his goals as Hunt and Abadir points in the Adventure Time Encyclopedia. Even the literal location of where the bomb was dropped became a funnel of magic magic, which he then utilized for his own power and influence. He even used its magical properties in order to begin transforming the life energy of the planet on itself in order to destroy all of Ooh, while absorbing all of the energy the planet had to offer for himself. Everything the bomb did ultimately aligned with his own best interests. Considering all of this, I don't think we can ignore the fact that it's quite possible that he could have influenced the people who made the bomb. Well anyway, that's all the information I have for this particular video. Be sure to like, subscribe, as well as go to my other social media platforms. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.